What up, my nerds? I'm Ricardo, the roleplay commander, and I like to fly ships and shit. Listen, that was a little bit forced, but let's talk about Elite Dangerous Beyond. So Beyond, that's the, that's the word on everyone's lips, isn't it? Are we all excited for it? Let me know in the comments down below. But listen, I don't know, I don't talk to people, but I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> oh yes, this is the most excited I've been for the future of Elite Dangerous in a very long time. Legitimately, I feel like Frontier are finally taking the game in the right direction. They've been saying no, no to this, no to that, maybe, but also no to a lot of things, you know, over the years. And finally, they're starting to say yes. They're saying yes to life. And I just, you gotta commend them for that. It's beautiful. So, you know, we've got new ships, the Chieftain, the Crate, apparently some Alliance ship, and then probably more after that. We've got wing missions, we've got new tech and weapons, we've got improved planet generation, improved engineer experience, improved exploration, improved mining, we've got goddamn fleet carriers. I mean, come on guys, come on man. You know me, I am, I'm a fiend for carriers. You give me a spaceship carrier, oh yeah, I'm gonna have a good time, Battlestar Galactica. You know what, baby. Listen, it's a primal bond. It's something sick and twisted, I'll admit. I probably need to see a shrink about it. It's, it's, it's something deep down in a place that I don't like talking about, you know, at parties. But I do like talking about it, because I love talking about carriers. It's like me and necromancy. It can't be explained. You just gotta ride with it. And I'll tell you one thing. It feels like an April Fool's joke. It really does. Fleet carriers? What? But that's not what we're here to talk about today. <laughs> as excited as I am for carriers, they can fuck their carriers. I would listen, listen to me if they said, ah, actually carriers was just a joke. I would be fine with it because there's another feature here. There's something else they've announced that's coming out in quarter one, 2018. All this is for free, by the way. So like, good on your frontier, holy Christ. But there's one thing I haven't mentioned yet that is, it's got my juices flowing even more so than carriers. So you know it's a big deal to me. And I'm not even joking. This may sound like a joke. You can listen to my, hear my tone of voice. Sounds like I'm, I'm taking the piss. Don't worry about it. I'm deadly serious. Gelnet Audio. Greetings, commanders. For over a century, the Gelnet News Agency has been bringing news to the entire galaxy. Now, we are introducing a new feature. Gelnet Audio. That's right. So for those of you who haven't been following the announcement of Elite Dangerous Beyond, and I imagine that's not too many of you, but just in case, you know, we all know what Galnet is. It's the in-game news, right? Galaxy-wide news or whatever. Listen, I want to know in the comments down below, does anyone look at it? Do you actually look at Galnet? Tell me why you look at it and tell me if you actually find it entertaining or more importantly, useful, <laughs> right? I never look at it. I never do. Maybe I should, but it's just like... I, don't, I probably should look at it. So, like, fuck me, I guess. But listen, Elite Dangerous has a, lo has a lot of flaws. I think we can all agree to that. But the one thing that I can't look past, I can look past the grind. I can look past all the other shit that it does <laughs> that I don't much like. I can. I can look past it. The one thing that's, that stops me from just living inside the Elite Dangerous universe and just, like, getting weird, making a little nest and having a good time. The one thing is just the lack, the lack of immersion into the world. As, as strange as that sounds, because one of the most immersive games, you know, you get immersed into your cockpit. You get immer you're, you're immersed into your ship, fine. But I just feel so disconnected from the, the, the galaxy, from, from the Elite Dangerous universe. I don't know what's going on. I don't care what's going on, right? I Sometimes I'll read little snippets, articles on on gaming websites and the, the, the talk about, you know, some stuff that's happening in Elite Dangerous. I'm like, hey, that's actually really cool. How did I find out about this two weeks after the event's over? What? <laughs> you know? And, you know, there is something to be said for, like, for not holding your hand, absolutely, and just saying, hey, you got to go and look for the cool stuff yourself. Okay. But I feel like there's a line. This, it's At some point, you got to say, listen, a large majority, if not most of our players, are not experiencing all the cool stuff we're doing because they just don't know about it, right? And when you get to that point, I think you need to introduce something like Galnet Audio. So Galnet Audio is ju it's just voiced. It's just voiced Galnet. That's all it is, right? But listen, I cannot express to you how excited I am for that. 
you know, just slapping on Gal Note Audio, listening to the, the news while you may be doing something else in your cockpit, outfitting or whatnot, or just, or traveling, um, you know, somewhere for a, 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 a community goal or something like that. Oh, yes. The atmosphere, right? Not only is it just lowering that barrier, the, you know, making uh, Galnet more accessible because you don't have to sit there reading. <laughs> what? Listen to me. You're in a cool ass cockpit in the future and you're going to sit there reading the news? Come on. No, you're listening to it, dude. That's the future. That's the way it goes. Look, I just I just hope that you can listen to it while doing other stuff. If, if, if they don't let you do other stuff while you're listening to Galnet, I feel like it's failed. That's it. It's all over. <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below. Am I like smoking something or are you with me here? I that's that's the the biggest thing, I think. That's that's Elite Dangerous's biggest fault is just it's it's way way too hard to understand what's going on and just care about what's going on. Care enough to want to find out. Cuz I almost feel like like I guys like Obsidian Ant and whatnot, mad respect for digging up all the news and reporting on it because I haven't got the patience nor the time to do that sort of shit. You know, I just want to play the game. Let me jump in. Let me go, hey, what's on Gelnet today? Two minutes later, all right, cool. Now I can decide what I'm going to do this play session. That is my dream for Elite Dangerous. And it really seems like that's the direction they're going. Finally, right? Finally, Frontier, listen. You were touch and go there for a moment. But listen, I'm real, look, you're a bunch of cool guys. You're a bunch of cool guys. So it doesn't seem like there's any definitive answer as to whether the voice for Galnet is pre-recorded or a computer voice, you know, a synthetic voice. In my opinion, I think I would be extremely surprised if it ends up being pre-recorded because Galnet changes, right? I mean, it's, how often does it update? I'm not, this is, I don't know very much about Galnet because I never use it, right? <laughs> Which is why I really want to hear from the people who do regularly use Galnet and actually get some use from it. <laughs> that's what I want to know, right? But listen, considering it updates, that's, that means they're going to have to be constantly recording voice lines for it. I, I, I would be very, very surprised if they end up doing that because that's going to, I mean, if the game was like, if, the, if, if it was a subscription model, all right, I can, I guess I can understand that, but it's not, you know? So that's why I think it's going to be probably a very good synthetic voice, which I'm totally fine with. In fact, I'd, I'd prefer it to be a synthetic voice because then they can use it more often, right? I mean, that's, <laughs> is that solid reasoning? I think the, the little snippet, the example or the trailer, if you will, for Galnet Audio that we've seen so far, I don't think that's synthetic. It's either like the world's best synthetic voice, or it's um, it's a, a you know pre-recording made to sound synthetic, um, and I don't think that's going to be representative of the final product. And I, I think I'm okay with that. You know, as long as it doesn't sound like Microsoft Sam, <laughs> I think we'll all be we'll all be good to go. But you know, let me know what you think in the comments about down below if or if there's any news that I've missed. Hey, you never know. But in any case. What do you think? You excited for Beyond? Do you think Frontier is taking in the right direction? Or do you think they need to be working on some other stuff? And let me know what your most highly anticipated, you know, announced little snippet, little feature of Beyond is. That'd be fantastic to hear. So hey, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, fight me in the comments down below, leave a dislike. In any case, thank you very much for watching. Taste the game. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer. Out.